Welcome to the Santu Pearls stock market commentary video, your weekly window on stock market technical conditions, featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart for June 3rd, 2018. Market breadth. With this past week's market advance, our bull bear point and figure ratio at 1.01 fell slightly from 1.08 last week, barely continuing within bullish territory. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns increased 1% to 2,867. The count of bearish stocks increased 5%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns decreased 2%. The Sand to Pearls PNF Market Breadth Summary Chart shows us a market now four weeks in bullish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the Open Office Calc data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by visiting s2pmarketsignal.com, clicking Membership, clicking Register, and following the prompts. To subscribe to the weekly Santu Pearls stock market commentary via email, free of charge, simply enter your name and your email address in the spaces provided and click subscribe. The well-known market breadth indicator, the NASDAQ McClellan Summation Index, rose 64 points for the sixth advance in eight weeks at a positive 419.47 points. It has risen above the February 2017, May 2016 tops, continues above the July 2017 and March 2018 tops, and continues below the remaining five tops above plus 100 in the last 30 months and continues above all five bottoms below minus 100 in the last 30 months. Volume Analysis In this week's volume analysis, the NASDAQ Composite Index ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode, with average daily volume higher than the prior week. In the last two weeks, the NASDAQ had one accumulation day and three distribution days. Accumulation days are counted when the index closes up on higher volume than the prior market day, while distribution days occur when the index closes down on volume higher than the prior market day. Last week, the NASDAQ ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode on lower average daily volume. Momentum. The CCI 20 daily at a positive 184.15, is up from a positive 80.57 last week without falling below plus 50. We continue to wait for the CCI 20 daily to return to the plus or minus 50 range for another potential zero long reject long entry signal. In Woody's CCI trading system, Six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for a change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ Composite Index began a Woody's uptrend 109 weeks ago, while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's uptrend six weeks ago. The CCI 20 weekly rose to a positive 107.71 from a positive 83.37 last week, continuing outside the plus or minus 50 range required for a valid zero line reject long entry signal. Industry rotation the last two weeks. All of the top five industries are positive and all of the bottom five are negative. Summary, some tech, retail and REITs on top, oil, oil services and KBW bank on the bottom. Bullish, semis, and S&P retail continue in the top five. REITs and CompTech have entered the top five. Bearish, KBW Bank continues in the bottom five. Disk Drives has left the top five. Focus this week from www.silverdoctors.com. Jim Willie, 
The Comex is in serious trouble. And here's your smoking gun. Jim says the international community will soon label the Comex a, quote, corrupt arena that has no gold, end quote. Here's why. Jim Willie interviewed by V, the guerrilla economist, on Rogue Money. Dr. Jim Willie returns to deliver an excellent assessment of geopolitical events unfolding around the globe that are leading to further U.S. isolation and the inevitable demise of the U.S. dollar. A must-listen-to interview. To learn about Jim's work with the hat trick letter, please visit http goldenjackass.com. Thank you for watching this week's Sand to Pearls stock market commentary video featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart compiled by Donald Pearl, www.s2pmarketsignal.com. Hoping that you have been enjoying a peaceful and pleasant weekend, that you are looking forward to a prosperous and productive week coming up, and wishing you true success.